So Reuters poll that showed Bernie Sanders was ahead of Joe Biden in the national polls and matchups against Donald Trump. And this is something to pay attention to because Bernie had been up until this point, to my knowledge, he was usually trailing Joe Biden in these national polls. And, you know, there are some of these early states that Bernie Sanders is you know, leading or very close to the front end, like New, Ham New Hampshire, like Iowa. I think he's doing pretty good in Nevada as well, and his numbers are also coming up in South Carolina. And now this is also reflected in this national poll that shows that, you know, he has more support than Joe Biden. It's not a huge uh, amount, but it is shifting. It is showing that, you know, Bernie is trending upwards, Joe Biden's starting to flatten out. Elizabeth Warren's support has dropped off, and I think that's going to continue to happen with Pete Booty Judge as well. And this Ipso Reuters poll also pointed out that Bernie has more support of the independents as well as de Democratic voters compared to both Warren and um, Joe Biden. Additionally, um, in a Trump Sanders uh, presidential race that Bernie Sanders turns out or gets more people to come out and vote than it than Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren um, you know so it just it makes sense in a lot of ways he has the most grassroots support he has the most support of young people this poll also showed that he had a plurality of um, Latino Latinx voters supporting him um you know his campaign's totally from the you know bottom up and people powered you know more so than any of the other campaigns especially <laughs> you know like michael bloomberg and tom steyer but even compared to you know booty judge biden and warren uh sanders campaign you know has that really grassroots from the bottom up feel to it and it's you know ref and it makes sense. It's reflected in Bernie's ideology and his policies, things that, you know, benefit, you know, everybody in the United States, things like Medicare for all, um, you know, Green New Deal, free college, um, you know, ending the war on drugs, uh, uh, cutting back on the military industrial complex, the prison industrial complex, um, regulating Wall Street, uh, legalizing marijuana, you know, there's it makes sense why he has so much support. He just has common sense principles and he governs, you know, with those. It's like, why would we want to have private health insurance where, you know, we pay these exorbitant rates and we get these crappy health comes out of it? Why not go for, you know, Medicare for all so people aren't dying because they don't have access to health care or going bankrupt because they can't afford these huge outrageous medical bills you know it's like <clears throat> yeah but it's very it's pretty exciting <laughs> for me to to see that poll of bernie leading biden nationally and i think kyle kalinsky is largely right when he has pointed out um in the past that you know his position is that a lot of biden's support is just default support oh they see you know his name like oh yeah joe biden wasn't he uh obama's president i, I kind of like obama so yeah i'll i'll support him but the longer he's in the race and has a chance to really talk and explain his horrible um voting record and stance on these different issues you know for decades we just see and hear more of the uh, messed up things uh, he supported and done in his political life and I actually made uh, a video 10 reasons to support Bernie over Biden if you want to dig into more of that um, check that out if you like um, but yeah it just makes you know total sense why Bernie is surging and Biden Biden's numbers are dropping off like you know his a lot of Biden support was just default as I said, the more people get to hear from him and then also what he's done in the past, voting wise, policy positions, his numbers are just going to keep dwindling down. I believe um, not too long ago, his campaign still might be doing this to a certain extent, but basically running a campaign of 
giving the least amount of exposure of the candidate Biden as possible because they realize that, you know, the more he's out there talking and interacting with people and giving speeches and answering questions, the worse it's going to look for him because he has a lot of, you know, indefensible votes and policy policy positions, you know, things like the Iraq war and NAFTA. So the more he's able to out go out there and talk about this stuff, probably the worse it's going to be for him. But um, yeah, so super exciting. Bernie's leading Biden nationally. Uh, I believe this is one of the first polls to show that it's our our it's usually been Biden at the front and, you know, some mix of Sanders and Warren. And now it's, you know, Bernie leading, um, you know, but it also shows like unless the Democrats want to, you know, rig the election again, you know, against Bernie again, like they did in 2016, which basically handed, you know, the presidency to Trump because they had all of these polls before the 2016 election, which showed that Bernie, you know, outperformed, uh, you know, Trump as well as did better against Trump than Hillary did. And that was indeed reflected in the 2016 election. And, you know, I so I think definitely if Bernie <coughs> wins, he he's, would have a very, you know, a very good shot of beating Trump because Trump, or I should say, Bernie is the, you know, real populist, you know, Trump's obviously using that fake populism, that rhetoric, but not really supporting that at all with how he's been governing or the things he's been advocating for, obviously. And people can see that. That's why, you know, when Bernie, if Bernie was on the ticket against, you know, Trump in that presidential race, the turnout would go up because in Bernie, they see somebody worth, you know, voting for because he supports all of these, co these common sense things that would improve, you know, the lives of Americans in a real, you know, materially positive and tangible way and, you know, a lot of different ways. <laughs> Excuse me. So, you know, he turns out the young vote. He turns out, um, you know, Latinx, people of color to go out and vote. He has, you know, the most support among independents and Democrats compared to Sanders and Warren. So, you know, for all those factors, among many others, he's Bernie Sanders is the best chance that we have to defeat Donald Trump and really start to, you know, radically transform the United States, um, you know, in a positive way, both in terms of, you know, our domestic and foreign policy. And that's why we got to do everything we can to get Bernie uh, to be our next POTUS. But I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment sections below. What do you think about this new uh, Ipso Reuters poll that shows Bernie Sanders beating Biden nationally now? And anything else about the 2020 election? I would be um, happy to hear your thoughts on that and <coughs> excuse me help me reach 50 subscribers because once I do I will take a polar plunge and it's currently winter here in the Pacific Northwest so it would be uh, quite chilly and I document it and share it with y'all peace and much love